this game before. Jeez. But he beat Matador the last time they played. Matador on the PR, very, very good player, but generally plays Wario and a little bit of Falcon. Interesting uh, to Belmont. I don't know that I've seen this in Baraka have, too frequently. I have never seen this before. Uh, but that is kind of the... That's how polarizing Steve is. Like, this is definitely not a good matchup for Steve. Agreed. Uh, but Makaho already setting up the edge trap. And look at that damage right there. Usually you see Matador actually able to pressure with Belmont. Yeah. He's setting up the projectile wall. But right now it feels like Makaho already not trying to approach. He's got his game plan a going, setting Ooh. up the house, but that's why you go Belmont in this exactly. matchup. Is, you want to set up a wall? I'm just going to tilt through it. What are you <laughs> going to do? The, that, the fact that that is the thing is, that, that is terrifying. Not true. That is not true. Oh, no. It, it, I mean, it is. What? Yeah. Most characters cannot do anything about it. So Matador, he has to go ahead and stop trying to shield that guard. Basically, if you shield the first hit of it, then it's yeah. just going to grab you immediately. You exactly. need to like rolled immediately thereafter or jump. You just got to get out of there. Yeah, and uh, people do say that you should roll, and like you should, but that is a read that Makaho can make pretty easily. Agreed. Good drag down, but can't get the grab. And he's Matador. got diamonds. Trying for something saucy, but not quite working out. Getting back in the cart is a flex. I, I, I don't know if it's ever the right option, but it looks so funny. <laughs> it does, yeah. Good job waiting out the holy water. <laughs> he's just doing the same. He's literally doing the same thing Matador, five times in a row. Matador covers every option with his amazing ledge trapping. <laughs> he's, it, I'm mad that it was the exact same amount of forward tilt still. I know, yeah. And still, this man is playing with tilt stick, and he wants the world to know. <laughs> That's awfully, he's doing forward tilt again. Like there, there are other options that you could do to cover more things, but he's oh. like a forward smash oh. there would probably would have been true and kill. It's a principal thing, you know? <laughs> We're early enough in the set that Matador, oh my, 51, he did 51 off of an up tilt. That move is minus four. Yeah, and if you got gold, minus two. It's one of the most safest moves in the game. It's uh. basically like shield pressure for babies. Yeah, it's not fair. He doesn't need it. Oh, and he's got two diamonds now, which means that he might just let it rip and just yeah, pull the diamonds Yeah, forward smash would out. kill here at, like, not quite mid-stage, but, like, three-quarters of stage easily. Why? Matador is still just, like, he's relying on this forward tilt. I want to see some more aerials, because oh. that forward tilt is sour, and it's why he's allowing yeah. Matico to survive oh to, like, gosh, 200 on them. Why does that... God, that hit... The hitbox on that is so much bigger than Very generous, think. very generous. Yeah, yeah, and it's out for so long. Down smash for good damage, and Matador trying to go ahead and get some, like, down air pressure going, but not working out on these platforms on PS2. So, Matador does have, like, a win condition here. Mako really likes to use those blocks, mm -hmm. and since he is down, uh, like, since he has, well, very little materials, if Matador can string together a couple neutral wins, he could get a lead, but that means now he's full on blocks. Exactly. The second that you allow Steve to take like a little bit of a lead, they can just build exactly. up their resource and ensure that they're good to go for the next two stocks. And I think uh, Makaho has... It, yeah, so he's got diamonds now, but he has an extra diamond, and he is almost at a diamonds again. Oh, but donks him off of his own block... Great down smash right yeah. there, just recognize that Mako does like to get up a little bit aggressively when and that hitbox is there. Mako had the, the re-grab there, so he knew he had to pick an option quickly, and that was not the right one. No double jump here, so this should be dead if Mako plans his blocks appropriately, but a little bit off, and that up smash should finish it off. Wow, yes it will. All right, so do you think that we are going to see the Wario, the Falcon, just anybody else? I wouldn't go Falcon in this matchup. Like, Mako seems to be competent. Yeah. And a competent Steve makes Falcon miserable. Yeah, that, that, that's fair. So, yeah, I, I mean, the Belmont looked pretty good, but it, it definitely felt like he was being a bit cookie cutter with it. Yeah. Like, just again, the, the, the repetition of the forward tilt, the mm -hmm. options seem to be the same for a lot of situations there. We just didn't see that flourish yeah. that typically we expect from, like, to drive through Belmont mains. Yeah. They, they it, understand it how to kill early. It didn't feel like, like, it didn't feel like his heart was in it, you know? Like, I've seen enough Matador sets to kind of, like, know what his play style is generally. It's not really a Belmonty. Playstyle, and 
Like, it feels like something's missing when he's playing Belmont that is not missing when he's playing Wario. Ultimately, he understands the character, but the problem is is that if you if you don't have that little special flair, exactly. then the problem is going to be that you're not going to be able to overcome the weaknesses of the character. And the weakness of that character is that it doesn't kill to 180 unless, exactly. you're, uh, yeah. unless you're super patient. Wow. wow. So Matador going only secondaries here against Makaho's Steve Enderman combo. <laughs> I think Matador is trying to pick the worst matchup that he can play reasonably. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Basically, you go, you go from incredibly disjointed man to big sword man. It, exactly. It's like, I, I am uh, unsurprised. <laughs> So, how many uppies out of shield are we going to see this set? Um, you see, I think it's probably going to be around 90, but that might be <laughs> a little bit under what it could be at the end. It's just so good for Cloud in this matchup. Exactly. Trying, trying to go ahead and bait Mugho into a, literally any aggressive option with that side beat. Too bad that a limit cross slash is basically unpunishable. Yeah. So the, the benefit of going Cloud in this match is basically that you can allow Mukoho to do his mining, and you can pressure safely with back air. Yeah. There's very little that many characters, that Steve included, mm -hmm. can do to actually defend against Cloud back air. It cuts through those projectile, or excuse me, those blocks, it, and it kind of interrupts any kind of a minecart attempt that you can have, because you can just yeah. smack him right in the face. And especially when you get limit as Cloud, like having that extra speed is so good against oh, yeah. Steve, who already struggles. Being that much faster just makes it really hard for uh, Mako to get his hits. But good use of the back air. Still using the wooden tools. Actually, I think he built... Didn't he build gold, or was that... Um, I don't know. lose my mind. Oh, uh, looked like he had a gold sword in that back air. But, oh, uh, maybe. My vision is not very good. I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, it's always the problem with that. Forward yeah, tilt, yeah. Exactly. A little bit of uh, extra rage helping out Matador right there. And now the, pro the question is, what do you do okay, He's with this chilling. lead? Yeah, do you just go ahead and play defensively and force Steve to come to you? I think that that is certainly the oh. move against Cloud, but Minecart interrupting that cross slash. Empowered rails, though, destroying Very Matador's nice. stock. A lot of people don't recognize that. If you have a little bit of golden redstone, that you can basically get those empowered mind cards, and mm. those do so much more to kill early. And so when people talk about like how good gold tools are, like Steve may seem to think that gold might be his best kind of tool, mm. uh, but you lose out on that mind card, which makes it like a very big opportunity cost. Great, yeah. Oh, good just barely right there, catching man. it. Back air pressing Mako to edge, and it just feels like Mako is so comfortable from playing from the corner. Yeah. Finally, the upbeat to burst out of there, but Matter nearly called that out with an up smash. That's a pretty impressive read mm -hmm. on this side. And his lead is gone. Also, one thing that's going to be interesting in this matchup is if Mokoho likes to, like a lot of Steve's do, to play from his toolbox, yeah. you can use like that to extend the hitbox of things like your exactly. limited cross slash. Which is terrifying. Oh, yeah. Just make that move even better, please. <laughs> it, the problem with Steve. And, like, I know that Matador is feeling this right now. Uh, is he has so many, like, tools, pun not intended, that you have to think for just an extra second about, like, like, that. This oh, what you're going to do. built like a fortress, and you have to basically decide in the moment how the heck do you actually get out of exactly. there. Exactly. And so, like, that one second that you spend deciding what to do is the second that he's going to hit you right in the mouth. Mm -hmm. But now he's out of uh, materials. He can't uh, extend that combo. And this is the problem with Cloud, is that sometimes he can struggle to kill without hitting this limit cross slash. Yeah. And Matador, he's basically hit that on shield almost every single time here. Mm -hmm. Mago is very bold with shielding, especially when his shield is small and it has not come to bite him yet. It might if this goes to game three. I want to see if Matador is going to take a page from Jfit's hook and basically do limit cross slash and do immediate forward smash on shield. <laughs> it's like, I dare you to keep holding that button. Oh, yeah. Jfit's book also right here uh, is just to sit there on the other side of those blocks and back air until Matador decide or Mako decides that he doesn't want to play, play exactly, the game yeah, anymore. Yep, yep. I mean, that, that is most clouds, though. Yeah, no, then <laughs> that's fair. Good holding on the fourth match there by Matt. I really like that read. Mataho very nearly mind-parted into his own demise. Yeah. So... Diamond does have a hard time getting specific kill setups, but any raw thing should kill around now if you're at the side. 
So if I'm Matador, I'm allowing Mugo to come at me. I'm charging limit here, but he oh, does 100%. not appear he does not appear to uh to share that proclivity. He wants he wants in, he wants death. I think that Matador has decided that he has tired of playing against Minecraft Steve and that he will do whatever it takes to end this set as quickly as possible. Oh, However many back airs it. it takes. Man. Oh my god. The, literally, I think the last 10 moves he did were all back I know, because like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh my god. Steve has a little bit of a stubby reach and he already showed the short hop or full hop back here can snuff you out of minecart. So yeah. It makes it so that if Cloud is above Steve, it's just back airs free every I, single I time. Man, and that, I mean, that's probably the first edge guard really that we've seen uh, on Makaho, uh, at least, I mean, I did not edge guard, I mm. edge guard him once, but like, it's so hard be because the, it loops, you know, like the, yeah. you got the You basically want to get a, a lingering active hitbox and put it in edge. Exactly. Like Wolf has no problem with it, you just forward tilt that man. Yeah. And just like, okay, you can <sighs> dodge as much as you want, but this, this thing lasts forever. Mm. But uh, characters like Wario, yeah, you don't really have those options. Yeah. Wow, though, you've got some uh, things that you can toss out, thinking of that down air. Mm -hmm. did, he hit, did he hit ground? He did, so he did get his double jump back in, just to air dodge back to the platform. Good recognition by Matador. So, people have been talking about the possibility of up tilt into down beat for Cloud, the up tilt into finishing touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a thing. I don't know uh, percent wise, but uh, it, it is a thing. Yeah, so I. So, fun fact about Kalos is you can mine off the wall on Kalos. So. I don't like that. Me neither. I figured it out during my set with Makaho. When, when he proceeded to do that to you? I was like, is he stalling me? And I saw the little, like, icon, and I was like, oh my god, he's getting iron. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh. That is one of those Steve-specific texts that you look at and you're just like, oh, these people, yeah. they are, they're, they're monsters, every single one of exactly. them. Exactly. <laughs> it, it stopped being about like, oh, what can we do with Steve? And it's like, should we do this to other people? The people, they start, they stopped asking what can they do and they started asking moral questions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's now a matter of philosophy <laughs> as to what Steve should be allowed to do in games <laughs> to torment his opponents. Right now, though, racking up a ton of damage oh, on Matador. Oh, good catch. Great grab, though. Not quite going to kill, surprisingly. Great 50 I for Matta and the big stage on Gallus helping him out. Losing the uh, the pickaxe is big for Mako here. He's going to need maybe a rail card or like a the mine card or a throw or something to kill because he's right now just working with his fists. Yeah, if I'm exactly mad, I don't jump into that. <laughs> that is the danger close. Forward air safe on shield. Gutsy of, by yeah. Makaho to use the diamond this late in the stock, and it works out for him. He just needed that stock. He couldn't allow him yeah. to, to get that safe punish in. But Matador hits right back. Oh, I never have seen Steve up till get punished on shield. Shout out to Cloud Upbeat. He's a good move, and I hate it. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Limit Cloud up be even better. Yeah. On both ways, too. And this stock feels, you know, pretty good so far for Matador. Yeah, I mean, he, he has the, an understanding of how to approach neutral. And that mm -hmm. is to say, you shield everything that, that Makaho tries to do, and you up B after it. Yeah. And then you hit him with a back there five or six times. Yeah, man. Cloud. That, <laughs> that just cloud things. That was a cloud guide right there. Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> Basically, that's how he, what that's what this character does so well, and we can really see why Matador picked him as a yeah. counter pick in this matchup. It just Cloud's tools light up really well against Steve's. Metify, where are you at? All right, so Makaho definitely in a good spot for him, but he does he would he's probably he's uncomfortable with yeah. the uh, amount of materials that he has. Not anymore. Oh. Oh. That tool breaking may have saved that, Matador's oh, yeah. sets. Because uh, if Mako got the chance to take this man on a cutscene for a solid 70% right there, he would have been trouble. But oh, look at that shield damage. Him a little bit. Yeah, Matador was just destroying that man's shield. He just could not keep sitting there on that platform. God, that does so much shield damage. I, I respect the effort. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true if they're not in tumble, but uh, yeah. Mako slid off that plat. He waited. He just ran up and shielded. Yeah, Matador getting a little bit antsy with those up Bs. Back air catching him again. Outspacing his oh, forward air. Oh, he time. wanted it. He wanted the down smash. They're just standing on one block. 
The footstool into Anvil. Beautiful set up by Monkaho. Recognizing his kill. Confirm was an option with Matador being a little bit too defensive in the shield. The gear is 20xx and everybody goes for footstool out of shield. All right, that was amazing. Gimmer, Gimmer, look at me. You did this. You did this, Gimmer. You did this to all of us. <laughs> For shame. You cannot <laughs> run away from your consequences. Oh, it's like he did it. It's like, oh, this is cool for Fox and Wolf. What about Steve, Gimmer? <laughs> what you didn't about think about Steve? that, did you? <laughs> no, shout outs to Monkaho. Great option right there.